Morning. Birdside Mask RPG contains content that is not suitable for younger audiences and might be triggering to some, including strong language, violence and gore, and mature and sensitive topics. Please review the on-screen warnings before enjoying the show. Y'all come to this really empty lot with like a creepy old shed, a bunch of garbage, and a very charred, burnt, sad car. This seems like a great place for villains to hide? What are we doing here, Aji? Into the shed. No, I'm not gonna kill you. I, I, mm, Look, we don't have a lot of time and I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, okay, you just, okay, you is, know what? This is you cool. having to trust me as a honorary, we're I, not bad guys, but everybody else is. I feel that. All right, let's go. Holy hell. Y'all go in there. Oh, it's God. another uh, elevator situation. You go down and the door's open. Oh, that's fakey. Oh my God. I think this is my dad's place. I'm not <laughs> really sure. Um, he didn't really tell me very what much. Those? He, what, who is, who is your dad? Again? His villain name was Gladius. Uh, he's, he's been gone for a while, so I didn't think anything of checking his places and stuff. And <sighs> I found one of his old journals, and my belongings. And when I read through it, I learned about this place. There's a lot here. There's a lot here. And it's especially important to you, this... Toby. I promise. Uh, uh, I found something uh, that you need to see. I mean, I feel like all of this I needed to see. This looks exactly like, or at least like the design. Can we, can we see what the actual artifacts and stuff are? Oh yeah, can there's we... like these big tubes with water passing through with a bunch of artifacts just floating inside. <laughs> so can I like roll or something to see if I can extend senses and see if there's an actual fucking ghost, like ghosts in them or if they're just empty vestals first? Yeah, if you want, that would that would be very helpful to you, I believe. Damn. Epic. What's the shit? What's the tea? They're loaded with spirits. Oh. Amari, are those... Do those all have? Yeah, they a... do. Marius, <laughs> like. Oh, <God>. <sighs> Raji, who climbed into God. this like seat, is looking over at you, very worried. Like, wait, those, those mean something to you? I... Those artifacts are full of people that have died. You can't even imagine the look on her face. <laughs> yeah, I know. Marius, oh, like God. standing there, freaking aghast, like, jeez. Okay, so that's another mission, I guess, to, to get them out of there, I do, guess. Do you know where this leads? Does this go, like, far? I, I like, ocean far? I don't know. I, I, I literally oh, just found this a couple days ago, and when I was snooping through the computers and stuff, they have archives of meetings? And there's Yings. there's one that you, you need to see. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore all these weapons, and... <laughs> Mari uh, literally can't ignore the thousands of voices that are coming uh, from those fucking things. Raji presses some buttons on here, and there is a projection, like a holographic projection. And it's like the most unlikely group of individuals ever. And a strange, horned, hooded figure. And the audio is pretty difficult to make out, but you can hear who you assume to be Raji's father. Working on a weapon in the background, literally like sharpening a small sword. Ooh. And you want us to do this? Why? It's simple, really. These gemstones were never meant to be here. They were never meant to be used for this purpose. It disgusts me as much as it confuses me. They're using these valuable gemstones for something so malicious. All I need is for you to destroy the vessels and return the gemstones to me. I am the rightful owner to these gems, after all. They don't belong in your world. It's best to keep you and your loved ones safe. Yeah, everybody's sort of looking at each other. You actually hear uh, Enigma and Kill Switch, and they're just like, Why us? Exactly. Not your god. This is, no offense, the last people I want to work with. <laughs> Kill Switch says, pointing at Cosmo. Cosmo starts pointing at Kill Switch and is just like, Look, this is not my cup of tea either. But he knows. We all have something to lose. We can't afford it. 
Uh, this character, who you have not met, but you have seen in photos before, sort of speaks ah. up. It's true that these gemstones shouldn't be used for such purposes. They could cause mass destruction to any planet, let alone this one. We should at least take that part of the deal. Destroy the vessels. Uh, as far as giving them to one individual in particular in Arlithian, where the gems originate... I don't think it's wise to do so. Sort of gets quiet, sort of hides behind Cosmo. Um, this this character sort of like stiffened at that. If you know what Arleth is, then you must already know the peril you are in. Enigma just sort of like chuckles and he's just like, well, I'm always down for destroying other people's things. <laughs> That's always fun. But uh, there's just one little problem. I don't know if you've noticed, but we are the good guys. Hooded figure laughs. You think I care about labels? <laughs> Couldn't be bothered with such petty things. But I do know that each of you have something very precious to you. These gemstones prove to be a threat to those kids of yours. I suggest you listen to the god that is speaking before you. You know, if you can at least get rid of the vessels for me, I can take care of the rest. In fact, I insist. Let me take care of the gemstone aspect of it. You just get rid of those abominations. Destroy the vessels. <laughs> That's all. And with that, this character just sort of poofs away, leaving these guys. And Gladys is like, Well, who's buying that bullshit? Enigma raises a hand and kills which makes him put it down. Cosmo's just like, That Arlithian is Theos, and he's not to be messed with. He's my arch nemesis, and he means business. It's not bullshit. Our kids' lives are on the line. We don't have a choice. We have to do this. I have told Tsunami countless times not to go down into that trench, and she will not listen. How do you expect me to convince her that this is going to end the world? She already doesn't listen. What more could I possibly say? What more could I possibly do? Killswitch just sort of takes a serious stand. Yo comprendo, pero... Pero que te pasa? Are you serious? It is either the end of the world, or an end of a friendship. You might have to step outside of your comfort zone, Cosmo. If we are willing to do the right thing, as we are, you must be willing to do the worst imaginable. Yeah, we're even. And it's in this moment you realized just why Tsunami never made it to the trench, and just how fucked up the situation is. And the memory little blip disappears, and Raju's sort of sitting there, biting her nails, looking at you. Yeah, so th they, they knew each other, and they knew about this for... I don't even know how long, but they wanted to stop it? They... Uh, whoa, okay, hold like, up. why would they want to they... stop it? To me, this looks because like they're trying to start it, doesn't it? Something about a war. Long story short, Mustio mentioned war, and we're not entirely certain what that means. Just that something huge is coming up from the trench? Was that- Amari, was that like the, the dude from the pictures? Was that the doctor from planet- the planet? Amari's like literally oh having like a half breakdown right now. <laughs> On top of all of the noises that are coming from above, they like- fucking left Lofi back there and she's gonna go down to the ocean now and do whatever they were trying to prevent literally they, they mentioned losing tsunami and Lofi's going there what's even worse is that I think after my dad I think they just gave up I don't I don't want to say they failed but like god damn it just more pieces for us to pick up always their shadows will never not haunt us but great Okay. They simultaneously started the end of the world and failed to save it. I've never heard of this from my dads either. There's just too many questions now, more than answers. I don't know what to focus on first. I need to go talk to my dads then and see exactly who the hell they thought that was or why they came to that resolution. And then we need to catch up with everybody else okay. because they're all at the school. Okay. If something preventable is going to happen, then we should really try and prevent it. At this point, they're already at the door, like, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Yeah, you try to, to go, and the elevator won't open. You hear a very ominous bang. 
That comes from above. Something drops from the ceiling! Oh my god, it's him. It's not a great sound, and this... Holy crap! This half person, half thing, on all fours, just sort of faces you. It's got like a very long tail, lab coat. It's not great looking, but it just sort of looks at you. Holy hell. So, you finally found out. You finally found everything you needed. All the pieces to Project MT-36. Aren't you proud? Aren't you the doctor? Oh, not anymore. Well, I j but j I mean, I mean, you, 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 you could be. You could. You. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Actually, since I have you, and you definitely know what's going on. Not that you look. Mm, not that that sound is great. Let me ask you a question. Should we stop going into the trench? Would that be a good thing? That would ruin everything. That would ruin all the fun. You see, the muscles will wake up soon. What they do? <laughs> What they do? <laughs> it's game for all Okay. If you are not your former self, and uh, we're stuck down here, I'm gonna give you two options. You can either get the hell out, or we will make you. <laughs> you come to my place. <laughs> no, please, you're my guest. Allow me. Oh yeah, he's coming after you, Toby. What are you gonna do? What do you do, Toby? This oh, thing lunges at you. Oh boy. Great. Fair. Can I unleash my powers to turn into looking like him? Just okay. Be, like, <laughs> just to shock him. No. JK, I'm terrified. <laughs> JK. Oh fuck. Nice. Oh fuck. Okay. Go ahead and take a powerful blow. Can I quick defend? <laughs> I mean, if you want to roll to defend, go for it. If you want to do that instead, if you want to save Toby's life, go for it. I could just die. It's cool. It's no. cool. We have the rest of the session ahead of us. You're not allowed it's to die fun. yet. We still have the rest of the session where we have to fight off this whatever the fuck that's coming up from the ocean. So come on. Oh Apparently my not. God, okay. no. Apparently not. <laughs> I hate it here. Is, is, is this where things go terribly wrong right now? You right see now? this thing go running at Toby, and y'all dumbasses are like, I got it! Like, sort of thing. Like, you both look like you're ready to do some shit, but then you just sort of, like, fumble over each other. Like, no, I'm saving you. No, I'm saving you. And then you end up both getting tackled by this thing. So both of you can take a powerful blow. Cool. Damn. Oh. <laughs> this is hero work at its finest. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wow. You legit Guys, died. Holy seriously. Crap. All right, here's your options, so gamers. Bad. You must remove yourself from the situation, flee, pass out, etc. You lose control of yourself or your powers in a terrible way, or two options from the seven to nine list. Damn. I don't want to rack up conditions before we die outside. I mean, unless you just want to go unleash our powers. We're in the no, but we're in the middle of an important lab. Both of us unleash our powers at the exact same time. The building fucking I mean, collapsed. You guys definitely <laughs> don't have got. to fight him. You could definitely flee. Pass yeah, let's fucking way. go. Wait, you said the elevator was stuck though. I mean, you have Raji, who is a giant lizard woman. I'm sure I could work it out. You guys get tackled by this dude, and upon a closer inspection, his entire like left arm is sort of goopy with this horrible substance that like. You swear to God, you've seen somewhere recently. Oh. Yeah, he goes to like slam down and like goes right in between both of your heads, and you guys just roll and you book it for the freaking elevator where Raji is trying to get it open. Good, yeah, she gets that shit open. You guys can just fucking skedaddle, run. You guys are going up. It's like one of those slow elevator rides where you guys are screaming eternally, like, please just go. Yep, you guys make it out. Just fine. Oh going. God. Okay. Um. So we're going to the school, right? We're going to school now. <sighs> if we're not doing this ourselves, if we're not literally dismantling this entire program ourselves, then we gotta tell someone who can. Yeah, you're right. True. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, while you guys are dying, we're here. Everybody should be here. Who isn't running for their lives? It's just sort of awkward. You guys is like, we've never prepared for an apocalypse. So you just grabbed everybody who is on the premises and sort of like, Got the classroom ready. Y'all have the comfort crab probably displayed, praying to the Lord himself that you guys will make it through this. Um, he's got a microphone and everything. Yes, he's gonna he's gonna deliver his speech. It's gonna be fine. Oh. Mushio's drawn out some stuff on the board, and he's pretty much just giving y'all the rundown as much as he can about the future that he knows about. These mechanical creatures 
are down in the trench. And they are going to come up. They are powered by the stones. Can't destroy the stones, just remove them from the robots. The stones have souls in them. It'll hurt them if you destroy them. So we have to be delicate with something that is the size of two-story buildings. <laughs> there is uh, three different kinds. One can fly, one can swim, and one can run. So there's land, sea, and sky. We can figure out who can do the best of each. I am not a good leader. <laughs> Just as realizing everybody's staring at him. Last time Amari led us. Newbie, you can supply us with communication. Toby was not supposed to go out of my sight. and huh? I already messed that up. Sam wasn't there, so I don't know <laughs> what's going to happen to you. Phrase here. Uh, I will talk to you later. Sylvia? Do not go near Armari. Connor, you were one of the best we had using your chemicals and things. You're you're cured today, right? Unfortunately, yeah. No, that is very fortunate. That means the timelines are very similar. It is good. So use your chemicals, they are very good. You are fighting robots, so it would have been harder if you had any other power today. Ugh. I got plenty of iron oxide ready. Good. Mishio looks at Lucid. Do not go near Raven. Raven, you do what is right. You know what it is. Kifa, you've been lying and you need to tell the truth. Miranda, where's Miranda? You. Miranda like stands up straight and she's just like, does like a little salute. Don't do it. And Miranda's just oh. like, sorry, I just wanted to look outside. <laughs> she's just sort of like, I don't know what I did, I'm sorry. What about us? Wyatt sort of jumps forward, and Mushio's just like, looks them up and down. I have no idea who you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man! I wanted my fortune told. It's too weird. Mari went with Toby, which did not happen last time. Oh, that's not worrying at all! They were sitting down. This is like the tech squad TM. Like, all of these guys have, like, different techs, and they're just all like, what do we do? And Newbie's probably just watching them like, oh, imbeciles. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just going ahead and making flares for literally everybody in the room right now. It's just like mass producing them like their friendship bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> Time travel is so dumb. Bro, I don't even care about you! Looks at Raven. Walt, feelings mutual, brat. In fact, I don't mm. care about any of this. Why should I care? Uh, it's kind of like the end of the world. We kind of have to. I guess. Newbie. Is just handing out flares to everyone. Ooh. One for each of the robots. And Neat. we got one for Normie Kid number one. <laughs> one for Moth Boy. Yay! Emo chick. Emo? Chick. emo? I <laughs> hey, at least it's just emo. He called me sick boy. I could call All you right. way worse things than one that. For <laughs> right psycho. Oh, right! Saying, I'm dude. the resident psycho! High five stay. <laughs> one for the Normie girl. Oh, man. For dreads and for heart shape. And of course, here's one for you, Miranda. So now everybody's got one. Hey, what about comfort crab? <sighs> Tosses it to the crab. One for the crab. There. <laughs> That's comfort crab to you. Yeah, I'm sure he's very comforting for you. Anyways, these are the flares that we're going to be used to communicate with each other when things go down. Ooh. Please use them for important information and not try to fiddle around with them. Right. Only serious business. Immediately contacts Amari. Are you okay? <laughs> Screaming into it. Everybody's like, ah! They're just booking it so they get no response. <laughs> oh, that's not good. i sure I screamed loud enough. So he snatches it from him. Hey, you know that this is, you're talking to everybody in the room right now when you do this, right? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Only use it for important purposes when you don't have everyone and their mother in the same room. <laughs> I would rather keep my hearing today. Do you have Only more today. sensitive hearing because you're like squints? Uh, a, a genetic experiment? Don't finish that. Have I seen this cat here before? What's with the cat? You've seen this cat vaguely before, but you're not sure why the hell it's here. It's just sort of curled up on the chair sleeping, being... A cute little cat in the apocalypse. Don't tell me you're a student too. It opens one eye and just sort of like yawn and just goes round. Just that, staring. That one of your cats, Sam? I don't know. If not, I can check its memories and maybe find a home for it. Jumps right, down. So maybe I can take a look at this cat. I will. Definitely rubbing it between your legs. I pet it and hold it and then I decide to try and use my power to oh see my if God. I can <laughs> okay. search memories. Go for oh it. Lord. That'll be what great. Is that with you, 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 people's memories. This is great. So rolling freak. 
Because the mission yep. power. Did it! You can either mark a condition or tell you how it's unstable or temporary. Unstable or temporary, because I might yeah. need my conditions to not be full. <laughs> you look into its mind and you see actually this really like kind of boisterous, like uppity woman with purple hair. Um, she always seems to be wearing a witch hat. She seems like she actually does a quite a bit of heroing. And this is sort of her little sidekick. Ah. You can make out at least who the owner is. Do I recognize the owner? <laughs> Not at all. Cool. <laughs> I didn't think so. I like Jilly put the cat down like, huh, that wasn't terribly helpful. Cat just sort of like <laughs> resumes, jumping on everything, looking around. Raji throws open the door and then y'all come running in and everybody's just sort of like, Ugh, like they're all gonna die. <laughs> Thank God you're all here. <laughs> Uh, I mean, where else would we be? We can't leave this stupid building. We have a problem. <sighs> I know, the world is ending, apparently. Well, yeah, that, that, yep. It's, but, it's a little uh, bit bigger than that! Yeah! Oh, the universe ending? The universe ending? What is going on? You guys look very, very spent. Okay. Well? We... I found my dad's old... I, uh, villain stuff. Yeah, I used to be a villain. My dad was a villain. I, I'm trying not to be like him, so... Just give me a chance. Um, Don't be ashamed of who you are! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Thank you so much! Raju looks so... <laughs> Thank you. His, his lab had a lot of information about what's in the trench. Well, if he's... If she's already down there, we're... We're gonna have to fight those things. And apparently our parents were trying to and they failed. It's a lot. Um, there's also a, a possessed man down there. Sam, newbie, we know this man. He was in pictures back earlier today, which is also whack. Oh. Yeah. That dude now looks like an animal on like four legs with like weird, strange goop and tail and just absolutely rabid. You're talking like... about the doctor. The doctor. Oh no. So he's alive. You're talking yes. about my dad? Yes. Are, are you saying that, did he mutate himself? I don't know if he did it to himself, but he's definitely like just evil or just a shadow of himself or like he like his body mutated because something went wrong or maybe he, he like made himself kind of evil. Goose stuff coming off of his arm. Mishio Weird. looks stern and looks at you, Sam. He's staring daggers at you. He like actually pushes past <sighs> Josie and he's just like, where is it? Where's what? You know. He holds out his hand. You have more of that? Wait. Just the, the, the bit I stab myself with. Sam, what exactly are these shards? Well, I learned that they are uh, a corruption stone. Huh. Yes, and that is exactly what has happened to the doctor. And will happen to anybody if you don't give that to me. But how will we know if I... you'll get affected by it? Right, like that's my thought. Like I'm worried about you getting affected. I'd rather just, like, destroy it or, like, throw it in the ocean or just... I mean, I think we've all kind of should agree that throwing things in the ocean isn't solving anyone's problems. <laughs> uh... <laughs> the best thing that we can probably do right now is find a way to put it in some sort of safe container, wafted away, and you make put one? it in, like, the deep depths of something. Newbie, you can make one. Yeah, I, I can do that. Yeah, I let's roll for it. Let's, gonna... let's add that possibility that it could fail. That's decent. Decent. Yeah, that's Passes. Seven's good. You're probably gonna be working on that for like just a couple minutes while you're like, let me look around this room and like take apart like a chair or something. <laughs> like, like you're okay. making something. Get a couple of calculators. Probably <laughs> take a hard drive from the base from the kitchen computer. Yeah, take some shit out of the safe or something. <laughs> I don't know. You have rummage, but it's a seven, mm. so it's either it has to be unstable or, or temporary, or uh, you mark a condition. I you know what would be really fun if we didn't know it was temporary. Oop. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> we'll do that. So we're gonna play I, hot potato, and whoever has it after a certain amount of turns, you're fucked. <laughs> cool. Oops. So I'm just gonna fun. roll for so how many turns it's gonna be and how many people it's passed along to, and then we'll find That's out good. who gets corrupted. You have never studied these things before, so it's not like you can tell like just how unstable it is. You're probably like, I think that'll work for now at least until we can save the world. Now that it's all contained, I suppose we can trust Mushio can take a hold of it and not get corrupted, right? That's one. You give it to him. Okay. We could always like hide it somewhere, right? Cause we don't have to necessarily like hold on to it. We could always just, you know. No, we have to make um, sure it doesn't end up in the wrong hands. I do have my locker. What but I do have a one place system. we could put it that no one would think of. 
Janda's closet. Maybe we could put it under the comfort crab. Do not get that near the comfort crab. <laughs> Sylvia's bored. She wants to leave. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, Sylvia, hold this. Oh, my God. <laughs> is Sylvia going to the window? Context. Sylvia's you know, just going. I imagine Sylvia came over and was like, this shit sucks. And Bregman's like, right, we were supposed to end the world. Fuck this. And y'all just like, go out the window. Exactly. Oh, and like, also, like, aren't you guys supposed to be heroes and we're stuck in a classroom? Like, this is boring. If there's something coming, I'm going to fight it. So I basically grabbed Raven and I'm, I'm doing a jailbreak. We're getting <laughs> To be honest, Omari's kind of on the same boat of wanting to get the fuck out of here now that everything's been said that needs to be said. I'm looking out the window. Can I see somewhere I can throw a portal? Oh yeah, like the beach is like right there. I mean, you could literally just like whoop whoop and be like out there. Uh, like I said, Sylvia's <laughs> like, this is stupid. We're getting out of here. So okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw a portal on the beach and then throw one on, on the floor beneath Raven and I, and we're just gonna zoop. <laughs> now is that a, is that a <laughs> roll? That's the question. Yeah, that's I definitely mean... a roll. <laughs> so holy shit. <laughs> You, you just like you get so mad you're just like fine fuck it and you just draw that lovely like dark circle on the floor one outside and these two just go whoop <laughs> y'all are talking and you turn around as, as you see sylvia and like the, the they it's... like sink into the floor like oh like some death <laughs> like noise well that's creepy <laughs> that noise <laughs> well, that's creepy and that's coming from me i might do the thing where like i pull down one eye like with a finger and go Bleh! <laughs> Are you going to leave the portals up or are you going to close them as soon as you're done using them? I think she's not expecting anyone to follow. She's kind of going to be like, if you're going to stop being sheep and come out and fight the thing, you you do it. Quit being babies. Like in her mind. She's going she's gonna to leave it. She's going to leave it. Oh, damn. Okay. Newbie, you're freaking, your laptop starts going a little bonkers. You're getting some some footage. I open up my laptop and be like, okay, guys, I think we have something. Uh, do we have a projector in this class? <laughs> no, y'all are very low budget, but I'm pretty sure, like, you probably have cool, some stupid cool. hologram shit in implemented on your computer. Go ahead and, like, put it up on the screen. Oh. oh. That moment, you knew. She's made Mark's it. fucking booking into the portal right now. She literally. She made it down there, and she's literally, like, that close. Yeah, it's only, like, a few moments do you start to hear Caspian come through. Um, I can't go any further, but I, I, I think she's down there. It's really, really hard to breathe, but I know my limits. Your bot went down there, though, so, uh, good job on that. Yeah, right now we do see her heading towards what looks like it is the vessel. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Caspian's kind of lost. She does have the missing artifact in hand, so she might... Is she planning on putting it in? Let's go down to Mariana Trench. Uh, oh, no. Oh my, oh my god. She gets down to one of these big old bots. You see her like sort of like scream out, shove it in there. There's like this big beam of light that shoots up. As soon as she uh, looks at like what she's done, she looks down. The artifact sort of locks into place and the vessel starts moving. Uh -oh. And it scares her really badly. Realizes how big these are and all these different lights start turning on. Like one artifact triggered them all. Definitely high key starts booking it, trying to get to the surface uh, where Caspian is just doing his best. Looking down in the trench, definitely sees this horrible light and then yep here comes luffy booking it <laughs> in the light and like yeah your bot's following all this and as soon as these two meet it is like it's a picture oh no <laughs> we got her they're both gonna die we finally got her luffy's pointing down there frantically i don't know what i did but there's they were right there's something down there we have to go we have to go now everybody's gonna be in trouble and it's all my fault! And Caspian's like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, we got you. I, I've got you, Lofi. Uh, he presses his headset and he's like, I, I got Lofi! We're gonna try and come back as fast as we can. Yes, please do so. Whatever uh, this is, it does not look friendly at all. He's just run. The fade, and they're like, booking it. Caspian grabs so his funny. sister and just freaking books it as fast as he can shit's on the way my guys we going in i'm always taking the portal we're not fucking around anymore let's go oh, frick guys fitz really hitting the shan out there i think we ought to get to 
get to the beach side. And we don't, don't have much of a choice. Help. We need all hands on deck. I'm going out to the door. <laughs> What's the... I guess it depends on how stable that is. So he wisely goes it out good. <laughs> Miranda will jump through a portal. She don't give a fuck. Is this a portal? Did you make this, Amari? No. Sylvia made it when she left, and now we're going. I have never talked to Sylvia before. I have no reason to distrust this portal, so I'm jumping through it. So there's going to be a couple people that stay behind. It's just more like the normie kids. They're going to be like keeping an eye on like what's going on in the trench and making sure that they get out okay. Okay, just so, so you guys can laptop? Yeah, just so you guys can fully focus on what the fuck is going to happen out here. Pray to the crap! We shall! <laughs> Nico salutes. I'd rather pray to lobster. <laughs> All right, gamers. You head back out into the night with bare bones of a plan on how you're going to stop this apocalypse. But damn it, you're gonna try! On the beach, you see plenty of chaos. There are the monsters, the alleged robots themselves, the dinosaurs from the depths of the Mariana Trench have emerged at last, and they are sieging the city. There are heroes, there are Joshui, there are all sorts of people doing their absolute best to keep them from coming into this city. But to no avail, it seems as though some are getting through. But this is the front line, and you've thrown yourself into it. Oh. Whoa. Hi. It's just what? like we saw on the lab. There's like a lot going on out here. Like y'all were like in this classroom, like, oh, I wonder what we're gonna do. And then, like, you come out here and it's just, like, weirdly quiet, but, like, the occasional, like, zap, clatter, and bang. There's, like, a roar. Seems like everybody has appeared. Even heroes you probably haven't heard about in a long time or hadn't seen before. And villains? Yeah, pretty much everybody is here. Y'all just pour out of this portal behind Dr. Cosmo and she just sort of, like, Kids, what are you doing? We're oh. here to wreck shop! She means help! <laughs> I'm just following the group. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's so many I'm gonna dive in. I'm gonna yep, go run for up it. to the one that Dr. Cosmos got. And I'm gonna swing kapow, from it with it. my... Yeah, kapow. Directly engage with rat. Yeah. Would you consider this taking foolhardy action without talking to my team? I mean, yeah, you didn't even make a plan. I gave you guys a chance to make a plan and we didn't, so. <laughs> I am insecure okay, and I would like to stop being insecure point, for at least are, a moment. There you go. Going out into battle. Okay. Oh I also cleared a condition, so this is, a, this is a good start, even if I make a fool of myself. You, like, come in and you just, like, try to tie, like, a web probably, like, around or, like, a thread around one of its, like, fins? Question mark? And you're like, I'm gonna kick it. But then you, like, just completely miss, and you just kind of go, like, flying this way, and sort of tumble, and, like, now you're face-to-face -face with this one, which no one's fighting. Love it. So I see that he went flying, and I go rushing over to him because I notice <laughs> that there's no one else beside him, just because it's, like, might as well <laughs> try and go help him. Got, like, a face full of sand. Pull down your mask, and it just <laughs> falls out. Fight. <laughs> <Bye. coughs> <coughs> That was my plan. I pull it up over my eyes. Uh, you want to well, help? You want to help me yeah, take this I'm, one I'm... on? Nobody's uh, nobody's fighting this one. Yeah, that let's, was my. Yeah, let's get this one. That. So I'm gonna like jump up and punch it in the face. Okay. Just straight up. <laughs> All right, that's definitely directly <laughs> engaging. Sweet. Yeah. Damn. I think I'd like try and like hit it on like where I guess like would that nose kind of thing be like in between the eye. Bonk. Or hey, you can even bonk, bonk the eyes and like break them. It appears to be water inside that there, so you can just like psh, you ran across the back of it and then like jumped on the front and, like bam like punched it real hard punch yeah. its eyes out and it sort of like rears back and you kind of like land back down luckily it's sand so it's nice and soft <laughs> and land on my feet like an expert yes exactly you got an 11 after all you learned yeah. from your cats Aww. Aww. <laughs> all right newbie what you up to what you want to do i want to see if i'm able to find any sort of weak spots for us to take on these lovely little shrimp critters that's like it's... assess the situation to me yeah and assess mm -hmm. the situation girl what did i get you got a six but god I failed. So, Newbie, what, what are you doing specifically to, like, examine these guys? I was going to see if I can try and install, like, some sort of chip. You, like, whip this thing out, and you, like, toss it to me, and you're like, hey, put this in the something, and then I, like, swing yeah, up on it. I'll just toss that to you. I just, what? like, swing up to its brain, jam it underneath the artifact, and then get bucked off of it, and land in the water over here so now I'm wet. You're asking, how can we best end this quickly? 
Yeah. Destroying the vessels is your mission here. Collecting the artifacts and, you know, probably giving them to, like, brief something that can keep them safe until they can get all the spirits okay. out and then destroy them. Is there a way that we can actually remove the, Yeah, the, uh, the artifacts, artifacts just pop out. Like, if you just, like, twist and unlock them, you can literally just, like, boop, take them out, like... A battery. Okay. That's probably cool. the best That's... way. The problem is, is if you take it out and somebody puts it back in, it works still. So if you completely destroy the vessel, then it, there's no chance of you putting it back. So there is a point to actually destroying them, but if you want to do it faster, you can just take all the batteries out and then destroy them. So there you go. There's your plus one, guys. Here's all the information you need to know to take these down efficiently. Well, cool. You're finally giving us information on something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is not the time. <laughs> what you say? I'm sorry. Did you just, did you just figure out how to take these down? Yes, I did. She's just like uh, looking at you like, tell. I give out all information. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that is needed to take these down. She nods, she passed that on to like this whole entire fleet of Joshua. They start attacking this one. Now that they know what the hell they're doing. Knowledge is power, TM. I am gonna run up to the one that was closest. Are these robot things, are they like flat on the ground? How are they like moving? They're kind of floating midair ominously. Like, Are they casting yeah. shadows? Definitely, yeah. It's it's above the ground, so yep. So yeah, I'm gonna look at this big ol' honkin' shadow beneath it, and I'm going to like kind of clench my fist to pull the energy together, and you can watch like the surface of the shadow kind of rising and bubbling like water, and then I'm like gonna shoot my hands up, and then like these giant like needles and spines are gonna shoot straight up and pierce this thing from underneath. Oh, that's good. Fancy. Yeah, that's an unleash. I'm just gonna say that's. Fancy as fuck. Yeah! 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 Holy crap! Fancy ham, baby! Right. Holy yeah. crap! My moment to oh shine my has my come. Man. This is probably horrifying to see for like every hero who's over here who's just been like fighting this thing. You just like run up and this thing, this thing is just stabbed in every direction with like dark, icky, shadowy spikes. And it's just sort of held in this awkward, like, horrible, still position in the air for a second. And then you just sort of shink and, like, take the spikes out. And it just, like, crumbles onto the ground. <laughs> when that happens, I'm first going to turn and look at Raven and give her a look like, Yeah, yeah like, y'all are like, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then I'm going <laughs> to make eye contact with Gold and Light. <laughs> I'm gonna do that, like, yeah, I did it and none of y'all could. Villains are the best. <laughs> and just give kind of a knowing smirk, like, I'm better than you. She's definitely shocked, like, <laughs> she's never seen a power like that before. And she just looks at you and is just giving you, like, this, like, this what the fuck kind of look. <laughs> <laughs> like, her light goes out for, like, a split second as she's, like, narrowing her eyes at you, like, in a, like, very posh, like, kind of way she realizes this one's kind of done and she just zooms off this way <laughs> we sure showed her yes oriel just gives you like a thumbs up and she also uses her big wings and like flaps off can i do the burn yeah do the burn yay no conditions what's mr red's perk doing with the artifact actually oh, yeah. what he's doing is pretty fucking smart the artifact on this one was broken open temporarily and he collected all of the souls into just this one artifact so he's making sure they're secure in his hand before the others destroy it. He's essentially Wait. going around to like collect them, have them all in one artifact so that way they're not going to get destroyed. Okay, so would that make this one like powering down then? Because if all the souls are gone, then yeah, it'd be, it's like... definitely like and like yeah, you definitely see these guys like looking at Red Spark like what the fuck, man? Because <laughs> like <laughs> they were like so the ready. Thunder. I never get to have fun. You take away the fun come on and you like go zoom and he zips off this way at this one mario's gonna go for the one that cosmo's dealing with right now because frame is what is cosmo doing she's just sort of holding okay. it there it's sort of like spinning kind of awkwardly like it looks really dinky and stupid and it's just like hovering there like she's sort of like holding it in place she's not oh. necessarily trying to send it through but just like keep it from moving can i roll to see if i can get the artifact out of it like yeah. i can hop up and see you could just okay. make some like construct of like literal stairs and just waltz up there and get it i'm a wolf week then that's not bad unstable or temporary market condition i don't want to do unstable or temporary because i don't want to break shit yeah no i'll make a condition mario's gonna take the artifact out of machine cool artifact achieved 
Who is this character I'm fighting with? Whiplash. He's a speedster. He runs really fast. He's kind of an asshole. He's a model. Everybody Always loves him. Always takes the credit. Always takes the credit. He yeah. is Enigma's ex, and he doesn't. Really, he's probably looking over there right now. Like they're probably looking at each other. Like eh, it's really Con awkward. Connor has stumbled upon since this is a beach. He founds like a super soaker. <laughs> yeah. Picks it up and like I got an idea. So he pours the water out of the super soaker and adds, in this case, iron oxide. Or he puts <laughs> that in the bottle, gets ready to squirt. And his and the idea is if the acid hits this vessel, acid is just going to melt all of the mechanical parts. Yes! Go! So, oh my god, right. that's fucking awesome! Go for it! Fuck yeah! Danger? Yes! Yeah! Right. Nice! I aimed and I was able to make a hit yep. onto the vessel, but it wasn't like a direct hit, but it still did damage. Like I got its side or something, and it started to deteriorate around him. Its tail and its leg is like melting, and it's sort of like, Rah! like screeching out and being like, ah! like it's it's definitely not having a great time that you did that. It's sort of like boom, like can't walk that well anymore. Half it melts it now, and it's just sort of like oh, crawling man. with one foot. Oh, this reminds me of Space Vulpix Vulpix 64. Very first boss, you shoot out its legs, it can't move. God, it's just like, it's just like the video games. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't have the super strength to go and punch these things, so honestly, is there anyone that I could run around and like potentially like defend? You probably catch sight of Queen Bee actually going down. Oh god. First one to be KO'd. Can I illusion the sand around her kind of like a chameleon looking thing where it's like she's basically blending into the environment slash invisible? Yeah. And just like, just try to drag her away from that fight and just be like, no! Yeah, roll to defend. No! Six. <laughs> 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 Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna just go get myself killed, it's cool. <laughs> oh, cool! Yeah, Toby, you go running towards her because you see her, like, sort of, like, fall down in the sand. This thing, like, does not want you to come near her, and it's just coming for you. Can I swoop in? Yes. And save the day? Yes, you sure can if you roll defend and you do good enough, or you'll die too! <laughs> Hell That's yeah! That's an eight. It costs you, expose yourself to danger, or escalate the situation. Okay, I'm gonna expose myself to danger then. This thing, like, uh, swings I... its tail up and looks like it's just about to ground pound Toby, like, into the ground like a freaking golf tee. Tell me how you stop it! I run forward and I dive, sling some scarf around this guy and this guy to create <laughs> kind of like this big banister. And so it like smacks down, but I'm like right in the middle of it, catching it. Uh, you're, you take a powerful blow. Yeah, I figured as much. Here we go. <laughs> cool. Good, good. Cool. Nice. Got it. Am I marking my drive for uh, potentially saving a teammate's life? You definitely did. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. So upon like running over there, I'm just like, okay, I got this. I'll, I'll save. I'll be good. Oh god, no. And then like as soon as like Frey does the thing, I'm just like suspended like right above <laughs> you. And I'm just like, ah, hi Toby. Thanks for saving me again. Yeah, anytime. I, I, I just drag her away. I leave it at that. So with the info that like newbie gave us, take out the gems. I think at this point, like, okay, well, it's blind. Take it out. Definitely uh, directly engage. That's good. Nine. Yep, you get to just whoop, 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 jump up there, take it out, flop, there it goes. GG. Another bot down. I'm gonna go ahead and rush over to assist Connor, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a direct attack and see if I could use like some kind of like grappling mechanism to tie this one down. Hey, heck yeah! That's directly engaged too. Yep. Damn. God. God, this is not a good look for me. You come running up and you're like, da 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 da, grappling hook, and you shoot the grappling hook. It doesn't like wrap around really cool and like tie its legs like you imagine. It just sort of like hits the back of it and just like dink and then like falls on the ground and you're like uh-oh yeah. it whips its tail and just knocks you and connor back both of you take a powerful blow ah how bad is the hit oh that sucks newbie oh because now you just got <laughs> you just got connor hurt okay so connor your options are you lash out verbally give ground your opposition gets an opportunity struggle past the pain mark two conditions ow shit i'm hurt I'm gonna give the opponent the opportunity. So the bot who has no legs <laughs> because you melted them, rashing his tail around. Newbie got hit, but definitely like his armor probably took most of the the brunt. However, Whiplash <laughs> definitely now like gets stomped on and it's just in between these claws like ah, ah shit. 
He's trapped, DM. I am going to like walk up to this thing, pluck my trophy from between its eyes, and like kind of tuck it away. And I'm going to be like, Raven, you want you want to you want to do the thing we've been practicing? Oh, of course. She's going to scoop me up, and we'll go to like fly over to the one that like Golden Light is is fighting. Oh my god! Okay. And I think I'm going to try, and like I'm going to put one of my arms hovered over the other arm, so I cast a shadow over that arm. And then I'm going to have the shadow, like, collect and coalesce ac across the arm and then come and form a point, like, in front of my arm. And then I want Raven to, like, throw me and I'm basically going to get flung like a javelin at this thing and my shadow, like, armored arm is going to go Thing! Heck yeah! That would be directly engaged, but I'm going to give you another plus one because Raven's helping you. Come on, please. I want to be cool. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Off in the corner, before you flew over here, you see Golden Light, who's also flying around, zapping light at this thing. All these Joshmi are sort of like stabbing it with like little tridents. So you fly over here, and you just freaking hurl yourself through this thing, and it's just like, wow, this thing is dead done. Do I just pierce into it and it goes down, or do I go straight through it? You just go straight through it! <laughs> but Raven kind of like was like, what to do this, and like threw you a little hard. Like, you're not gonna get hurt, but you're definitely like, Wow! That's my go! <laughs> that That's was my pretty crime right there! Yeah! That's pretty metal. <laughs> I like try to do the cool like superhero land, like boof! And I turn and like Raven and kind of give her a point, like, yeah! And then I look at Golden Light and I hold up two fingers, like, That's two. <laughs> Aw, oh, dude! <laughs> <me>! <laughs> <laughs> she grabs it and then like y'all each got one you're just like oh yeah all these josh Mc people are like we are failures <laughs> <laughs> they all look so disappointed high-fiving and i like do the like two finger thing at golden light she's pissed she's mad about this <laughs> golden light's mad she flies off towards the city <laughs> i bullied golden light Omar's gonna head over to the freaking dying people over on this side Whiplash gets stuck underneath the foot and Killswitch looks over his shoulder and then starts whistling and pretends he doesn't see it happen! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's up to you, Amari. I'm gonna try and yoink this artifact. Amari, out of light, creates a very, very magical pair of tweezers. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to take the artifact out. So yeah, you take the artifact out and it powers down and slumps over, but the problem is Whiplash is still under its foot and he's just Oops. like, uh... Help? He's just sort of like on his radio and he's like, uh, any archipelago that can get me out of here? Cosmo sort of radios and she's like, the sparks are in bad shape. I need to help them. Caspian comes on the radio and he's like, we're almost there! Ah, sorry! Tsunami's too busy to listen, so he's stuck. Get up from being knocked out briefly from the tail and the mask has come off. I'm <coughs> <coughs> coughing sand out of my mouth and I see Whiplash, you know, like, someone. Help! <laughs> I could see that the leg is mythical and heavy, and I've decided this is a good opportunity to just uh, walk away. <laughs> and remove my condition. Yeah, do it! Fucking yeah, leave him! And then I join um, him with this creature. I'll do the same thing. I have a super soaker. I'm going to squirt yeah. onto this guy now. Directly engaged. Danger. Let's go. Stand back. I got this. Squirt, 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 squirt. Damn, Connor! <laughs> You're prepared for this moment. All those sick days where you weren't at school, you were scheming. Since I'm not sick today, I ran up to him and I gave him a high five. Oh, uh, yeah, good, good one. You want to grab the uh, thing? Yeah, I good. got it. Toby, you probably just got back. Everything looks pretty okay here. There's just a bunch of people who are kind of fucked up. Whiplash is still stuck, by the way. <laughs> He's just laying there with his arms sprawled out, just like <laughs> accepting his fate at this point. He's like, well, I'm fucked. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Nobody <laughs> likes Whiplash. I get to. I get to I, he like you, turns you, to you and he's like, hey, you wanna hey, get uh, me out of this prison? <laughs> he, 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 he's talking to me. <laughs> okay, 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 I got you. Um, why don't I just push this forward and then you get up? All right, I'm gonna roll something for you that I mentioned. Oh, oh god. Oh, Toby, holy shit. You're like, I am small boy. I, I don't got those muscles though. So you like go over there and you're like trying to push it and you're just like, come on, come on, come on. And you're like, it's just not budging. So you really put forth that extra effort. You're like, oh my God. He was my hero. It's time for me to save my hero. And just something inside of you crits. 
and you lift off the ground ever so slightly, and you knock this thing over. It goes boom. And what Blash is just sort of like, oh, thank God. He goes, pew, and like beelines to the city. <sighs> Am I still floating like right yeah, now? You're probably just like... kind of stuck there a little like. Oh God, I did it. I did it. Oh my God. Save Whiplash. Why am I not? Why am I flying? Why am I? Oh my God. What the fuck? What the fuck? Like, I just, like, what? <laughs> Newbie's just watching you like, <laughs> Toby can fly? What the fuck? Newbie. What the fuck? Newbie, I can. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm flying! Oh my god! I don't know if I can get down. He can fly! Your freaking dads probably saw that. But like, they're, they're in freaking public, so they're just like, Oh my god, they don't want to say anything! But like, god damn it. They're like struggling, you can see them like looking at you, and like, they're smiling, but they're like trying not to. And they was just sort of like using no switch as like a freaking stand, and he's just like gives you like a small little illusion of like a thumbs up. Oh, I'm just like, uh huh, uh huh. Okay. And and I, I thumbs up really quick. Just not not caring if anyone noticed because I'm flying. These two sort of like crash onto the shore. Caspian does the cool like flip out of water land, set Lofi down. And he just <laughs> lays there in the sand for a second like, uh, my god, Lofi's home. Uh, he's just so tired. Tsunami comes over and like gives her a hug. They're both like panicking. Like you can't really make out a lot of what they're saying. It's a lot of just like, uh, uh, uh. reuniting. Tsunami like checks Lofi, makes sure she's okay, and Lofi's just really upset. I, I put everybody in danger. I I didn't know. I'm sorry. It's it's all right, honey. You're just doing what you were told. It's my fault. If anything, it's my fault. Is everybody okay? Why is there so many artifacts? We're okay, I think. What about you guys? <sighs> okay. Caspian's tired. I've seen better days, but bright side students, if you could head into the city and make sure any bots that got past us get eliminated, we can hold the rest of them off here. We have more reinforcements on the way. I just look at Raven and I smile like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, Raven picks you up there. They're gonna fly. More things to fight. Yeah. As soon as Lofi has a free moment, Mars just gonna fucking hug her like Jesus. Group hug. Group hug. I love hugging Mal Stilly and Raven away from off here. to cause more destruction. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get you out of here. I'm gonna help fight. My mission's not over yet. I'm like looking from Tsunami and back to Lofi and back to Tsunami and like, is her mission? I feel like it's kind of done and I think we should maybe put her somewhere safe. You're you're the mom here. I'm just well... Uh, technically, God. you should be grounded. We now can't. that she's technically above ground. I'm already staring at I Caspian I right him. now. <laughs> we need all the help we can get, Lofi. If you want to be a hero, I'm not going to stop you. But I will tell you to be safe. And I'm going to watch you. You're going to stay right here, and you're going to help us keep them in the ocean. Okay. She gets ready to fight. Caspian's <laughs> looking at Tsunami with like... A not great look. Hmm, he's gonna tell his mentor no. No. <gasps> Lofi's coming with me. None of this would have happened if it wasn't for you. At this point, she's just like, looks like she's gonna start to cry and like turns away and like walks away quickly. Come on, let's let's finish this, Lofi. God, how many Joshua did they call up here? Jora's here. Great, yeah, let's definitely go into city. I don't want to deal with that either. Let's go. I, I just quickly like grab like Sam's arm and just try and put myself back on the floor. I'm just like, so that's a thing now. You can fly, oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah, I can fly. Why didn't you tell us you could do that before? I literally just did that. I don't know how the hell I, I don't know how I mean, this works. But even when training with my dad, it's like nothing. I'm just like, okay, anyway, I, thank you. Walk over and kind of bump into Amari and I'm like, hey, uh, we we did it. Yeah, we sadly saved it's her. not over yet, but. But Lofi's safe. Yeah, she is. And, and that's because of us. Yeah. Why do you keep lying to me? I want to throw you up to that robot thing, and I'm hoping you can dismantle it. Wait, what? My oh. mask recedes backwards and reveals my tattered face. Oh.